Hello there guys again, and again. I am going to attempt to name my favorite, ten favorite wrestlers, personal favorite wrestlers. Um, the ones who I think are absolutely elite and have entertained me the most these last near 20 years. So here goes. Well, number one's not difficult because if you've been watching my videos and if you're a friend of mine, you will know who number one is. Stone Cold Steve Austin, without a doubt, is my absolute favorite, biggest hero in life. He is at the very top of the list. It's the other nine wrestlers, superstars, that are going to be a difficult task because there is so many great legends out there, so it's going to be tough to um, name a top ten. But the other nine, here it goes. Shawn Michaels, greatest in-ring performer ever. And this is in no particular order. So Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, you know, his streak is so important now. He's been around for like 20 years plus. He's a fucking legend. That's all there is to it. Ric Flair, I think, is a wrestler. That is probably on everyone's top 10 list. And he's on mine. Hulk Hogan. Put wrestling on the map. Along with the ultimate warrior, who is also on this list, made me a fan today. If it weren't for them two guys, hey, maybe I wouldn't be sitting here talking to this stupid android phone naming my top ten wrestlers. Bret Hart, another one like Ric Flair, I think is on many people's top ten uh, wrestler lists. And, um, he's, he's definitely one of the best there ever will be, without doubt. I'm putting Mick Foley on this list. You know, he's given us a lot of good, great memories over the years, but I don't think there's a wrestler out there that gave us such a moment like that insane hell in, in a cell dive. You know, even non-wrestling fans went, whoa, that guy's insane. So Mick Foley, he's on the list for that. And, well, obviously his many other accomplishments, but mainly for that, he's fucking lunatic. Macho Man Randy Savage, who was sadly lost this year, makes it onto the list because he was the most charismatic wrestler in the 1980s. Um, I think in the golden WWF days, he was the best. He was the best all-round superstar. Um... And last and not least, and as I say, this is no particular order, Jake the Snake Roberts. Um, it's quite ironic because I hate snakes and wasn't too much of a fan of his Damien. But um, I thought he brought psychology to the ring like no one else. He cut promos like no one else. He invented the DDT. I thought he had some great rivalries over the year, great feuds. And um, yeah. Definitely one of the most underrated, underrated superstars of all time. So there you have it, my top ten, in no particular order, apart from Stone Cold Steve Austin. Thank you. Bye.